Hello, Floss Tomb. We well, are exes, exes and, and hoes. hoes. <laughs> Not hoes. Hoes. Because we're hoes for stitching <laughs> and bitching. <laughs> I'm Justine. And I'm Jackie. We are sisters. Yes. Same mister. <laughs> Shout out to mom and dad. <laughs> I guess we cheers. Cheers. First floss too. Mm-hmm. All right. What are we doing first? So Justine, how, <laughs> how long have you been cross stitching? I started stitching in 2013-ish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I started stitching uh, approximately 2013 was bored with other crafts, so bought a Celtic cross. Did you ever finish that Celtic cross? I did not. (laughs) That's my (laughs) oldest whip, and it will probably never get done. Um, Dropped stitching after, I don't know, maybe three years or so. Had some babies. Babies. No time for stitching. Mm -hmm. And then picked it up in 2019. Solid. What about oh, you, great, Jackie? great question, Justine. <laughs> uh, I started stitching in November of 2020. It took me pandemic, all of the pandemic, to find a hobby <laughs> that finally <laughs> clicked. And it was my mistake to open my mouth and say, "Man, I wish I had a cool hobby like cross stitching." To Justine, Justine made a kit for me right away—a little snowflake with some green fabric and red floss because you are a snowflake (laughs) i'm a snowflake (laughs) i think i stitched it while watching hallmark channel perfect Mm -hmm. and yeah all right well we just got back from stitch con con. (laughs) newbies newbies not anymore (laughs) hopefully going back next year fingers crossed and now we know how to do it yeah now we know we're prepared we'll get in a day early leave a day later so I guess we could start with our whips. Whips. That means works in progress. I'm gonna put an edit. You want me to start or do you want to start? Yeah, you can start. You probably have less whips. <laughs> well, because I finished mine, Justine. Mm, yeah. So we are only doing what, like current month whips? Yeah, so should I not share you this can, one? I mean, it's not like you don't work on it yeah. pretty regularly. So we'll show our more regular whips. Um, and then, like, once we start a stitch on. And then eventually, maybe our next video can be a whip parade, because I need it. What's a whip parade? We show all our whips. Okay. So you go ahead first. Okay. So, uh, this is the one. This is a stitch along I did. Took on a big project right out the bat. A Taylor and Cromwell stitch along Broadway. <gasps> on, I think this is 16 count Ada. It's an Ada. It's an Ada. I like that choice. Um, the fabric choice for yeah, that. Yeah, there's some, I don't know, you, know, you can see the shimmer in there. It's an opal. It's an opal. Yeah, uh, I've been working on, the, the stitch along ended like weeks ago. That's but, all right. You know, it we're looks good. doing it. Yeah. I'm excited to see it when it's done. Mm-hmm. Me too. I like Hamilton, I like the star. Yeah. The, that's a, there's some good ones. And of course, yeah. Um, Rocky, Rocky Horror. Horror. There's Rent. Les Mis. And then uh, the D is Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, I was, yeah. like, I was like, I don't know how to spell Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> I just left it at Broad. Because I am one. Okay. I am uh, stitching Little Chicago by Setsuma Street. On, this is from Bestitch Me Fabrics. I think this was Galaxy. And I think it's a 14 count. 14 count opal ada yeah but yeah you can you know you can good. see some of the stitching yeah it looks pretty that looks pretty solid look at me being fancy with my fabrics look at that <laughs> look at that <laughs> filled with confidence uh and then this one well i started I'll that one at stitch mine too. is oh, this okay. your last whip yeah okay so that's yeah whip. we'll just transition with this yep then we started a sister stitch along we're going to have to see if we can flip this. Is it backwards? I don't know. <laughs> well, we're doing this one. Um, who's it by? It's the Little Stitcher. The Little Stitcher. Salem Trials, The Witch Hunt. Yeah. I dig it. Mm-hmm. This was our 
Sister Stitch Con Stitch, Stitch Along. Along. Yeah. And this is a, I don't know what fabric, I, is that, this isn't like 32, is it? It's an 18. Well, no, isn't this an Ada? Yeah, I think. So, it might be a 16 count. Uh, I think it might be a 28 or a 14 count. It's pretty big. Okay. That's what she said. Um, mine, so, okay, yeah. mine. Yeah, I wanted to Justine's Yeah, whoops. mine is on a 28 count Lugana. Oh. Flan. Flan. Flan? Yeah. Like the dessert. Bestitch Me. I love Bestitch Me fabrics. I'm in her Fabric of the Month Club. She does her Friday night fight night. Yeah. I participated in my first one not too long ago. So yeah, that's as far as I got on mine. I'm just doing a page at a time. You feed them and then it poops. You put them in her, her mouth. Are we gonna do the bounce house later? Then you gotta get out of the way. <laughs> uh, another note, this little guy right mm. here, I'm totally going off, but I'm, I'm using my needle minders with my projects currently. This is from Stitchy Pros, Holly. This was uh, one of the needle minders she had. She set it aside for me, and that's really awesome. I was very jealous that you got a needle minder set aside. <laughs> <laughs> and this, but Stitchy Pros, she just released her first set of patterns. They are beautiful, mm -hmm. sunflower, summer, sampler themed. Check her out, Stitchy Pros. That's her Instagram. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll link we'll, it below. And we'll write it on yeah. the thing. Holly's awesome. She's a sweetheart. Hi, Holly. Whip. Number dos, numero dos, <laughs> number two, has not gotten very far. This was a, I really want to start this before the 4th of July hits. So it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to start it. So this is a gobble couple, Lori and Julius gobble free. I freaking love these gobble couples. <laughs> I don't I know love why. these gobble couples. <laughs> I don't know why. There's just something. Turkeys have been my obsession recently, and uh, I'm going to roll with it. So, that's as far as I've gotten, I'm pretty sure I measured incorrectly. That's why I only have, like, little half stitches, and I'm trying to, like, get my layout so I can see how badly I'm off on my fabric measurement. This is, I don't know, I got this on 123 Stitch, this fabric. It's a 32 count. Limestone Lugana. I have no idea who the maker is. Oh, on this fabric? Yeah, that's. Uh, I ordered a bunch of their like three dollar. I think it's like a nine by thirteen cut. I ordered just about every color they had because I wanted to try some neutrals, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of small projects that I want to work on. So, and then this is my awesome Mad for Minders Turkey Needle Minder. <sighs> Cool. Because I have a million turkey patterns, so I needed a turkey needle minder. How fitting, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, next one, I touched this a little bit, and now I'm kind of, I don't know. I might get back to it. We'll see. This is London Place. Sleepy Hollow? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Sleepy Hollow. Uh, this is part of, well... I'm doing the hashtag spooky summer stitch, Chris Cross Stitch. Cool. He created that hashtag and I think he may have started this one. I know he had talked about, they took a poll and this one was the, the winner for one he needed to do. So I've been working on that and that's what I've got. Ooh, that's the horse's cool. rear end. Oh, is this opal? It is. Uh, this is, so Live and Die LA. She's got a Facebook group. She does uh, fight nights as well. I don't know that it's called a fight night. Um, but she dyed this and sold a kit. They did a big kit. You could select your fabric. She hand dyed it um, and then mailed out all the beads and the specialty, like the water lilies floss and I think some Krynik floss. I've got my little Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This by far is the best version of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow ever. We had it on VHS, <laughs> watched it all the time as a kid. Yep. Um, so but this is a, it was a 32 count Opal Lugana and she calls it Sleepy Hollow. So there's that one. 
Next up, this was another one that I just kind of really wanted to start, especially before the holiday. Um, and this is Silver Creek Samplers Seeds of Freedom. I am already off. I screwed up the tree. I'm trying to make up for it in the grass. It's just a wreck. And it's one of those where do I pick it all out and start over? Because I'm not that far, but I do. I think I've resolved my issues and got my awesome Rebel Stitcher needle minder. You know, breaking that glass. Mm -hmm. Breaking Let's the glass. Breaking pick that the up glass. at StitchCon. This is on a 32 count Lugana. It was Through the Stones, March 2021, Fabric of the Month from Bestitch Me. That's cool. Best fabrics. Yeah, it's got a really nice, it's kind of a, like a greenish gray tone to it. And my last whip of the month <laughs> is my, oh, where'd the pattern go? I'm sitting on it. That's awesome. My Heart and Hand Wee Bird, Autumn Bird. I'm doing the entire series. Um, so far, I I have finished spring and summer on this same piece of fabric. They're all tucked in here. Hopefully they're not totally screwed up after I finish this one. Uh, and I'll do winter on this fabric as well. This is a 28 count Bestitch Me Opal Lugana. It's called Honey. Really nice neutral, but I'm also doing all of the holidays. I've got 4th of July, Easter, Valentine. I think those are the only three holidays I've done so far, but just keep an eye out. We'll, uh, we'll do some finishes in another video probably. Uh, and this little needle minder, uh, this is another Rebel Stitcher needle minder. It came in Lynn X Stitches Creates. It came in her June bag of the quarter. <laughs> And it's just super cute. It reminds me of summer. Mm -hmm. All right, those are my whips. Cool. Um, do you have any finishes to show? I have some finishes to show. And we're just doing like our most recent, yeah, like a couple finishes. Okay. This is from the Nebby Needle. Tis now the very witching time of night. Uh, I think this is probably another 14 or 16 or 18 count beta probably 14 count because i think that just that's what happens 14 count uh i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet but i kind of like i think you should make a little pillow yeah i don't know I like i'm it. feeling i'm feeling something doing with this i don't know like though. a banner maybe hmm. get one of those little scroll mm. things and hang yeah. it that you should show the back on that. It looks amazing for her being a newbie stitcher. Like my backs. Oh, suck. I should I should show the back of Broadway. Broadway, <laughs> really quick. My B, and then it gets kind of better as I go. Woo! Can you tell with the B? <laughs> <laughs> and then like it, it gets better as I go, yeah. but that B is like oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there. Oh, God jamming my needle through the fabric and then this is from uh it's on an etsy shop called stitch not snitch and i don't but flea bag i'm a big fan of the show if you're a flea bag fan comment your favorite flea bag quote below mine's do i have a massive asshole but yeah those are my I, finishes but i don't know what i'm looking I've Probably yet. put it in a hoop frame. I like the hoop frames. I've yet to watch the thing. Sorry, Jackie. But yeah, those are my finishes. All right. My, I'm only showing, well, technically I had two finishes this month, but one of them I gave away. It's yep. TouchCon. So we'll probably insert a picture of our oh, yeah. little mm, 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 right there, right here, <laughs> over here. <laughs> There'll be photos. Uh, 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 uh. This oh, is mine. Yeah. This was the Witchy Stitcher Freebie Safe Space. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I took the heart and only did that on one of the little Target bags. And I just, I, I cannot pronounce the DMC floss. Moulin. I don't know. Etoile. Their Etoile floss? I don't know. 
-hmm. They're sparkly floss. Yeah, it's sparkly. It's sparkly and it's really floss. pretty. I don't think you can see the sparkle. Maybe, maybe just a little. Try putting it towards the window. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I'm gonna get that light. Get that light in there. I love it. It's just a cute little pouch. I think it's awesome. I finished another one of these little pouches, not with this pattern, um, for Stitch Cut. So yeah, like we said, we'll insert all of our Stitch Con smalls. Do you have pictures of your smalls? I think so. Okay. If Jackie has them, she'll insert hers as well. Yep, they'll... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, is it haul time? I think so. Haul time? You know what? It's going to be a combo of haul and Stitch Con because so much of our haul is just from yeah, Stitch Con. Yeah, we're pretty much only showing Stitch Con haul in this video. And, and if you then get confused, once things are a little more regular, then we can do like, oh, here's my fabric of the month. Here's my bag of the month. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. So we went to StitchCon. It was our first one. We live in Michigan. So it was about a five hour drive down. Mm -hmm. Not bad. We took our mom. She drove her us. Mom. <laughs> she drove her little daisies our on down to our Stitch Our stitchy mom. <laughs> <laughs> Who used to cross stitch probably in the 80s and then Kinda stopped when kids. she had me. And then I and came then, along. Yeah, eventually. Jackie was just the cherry on the Sunday. Ruined our mom's lives. Oh. I mean, what? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, so we uh, we stayed at the not so sweet Hawthorne Sweets. Don't recommend. Don't it. recommend the Hawthorne Sweets. Um, it's just kind of dirty, and it was like and a little shady, humid. And mold like musty. Yeah, smelled musty. Smelled musty. I mean, whatever. We were hardly in the hotel. Our mom hung out in the hotel most of the time. She mm -hmm. read a book, start to finish, I think, or close to finish yeah. while she was down there. That was her goal. Uh, but for the most part, we were at the convention center. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'd be over in uh, La Quinta. Yeah, the, for the late. La Quinta, La Quinta. Or, I think it's La Quinta. I, I think, yeah, I'm guessing La Quinta. But we'd be late night yeah, stitching. Yeah, we did a couple nights there, mm -hmm. late night stitching. We got in late Thursday. We made it for the welcome party, but it was a very, like, we're running in. Yeah. And then we got registered and we checked out the amazing brag table. Yeah. We hit the freebie table. Oh, Do we want to show our freebies that we got? Yes. It took me a second. I'll go ahead and start. Freebies. I tried to debag things, but some of these are little kits, so I didn't. Um, that little guy. Oh, he's he's just cute. Mouse I like him. And I like mushrooms, so. You, you want to go every other on this one? Sure. Uh, this, I love cat. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have a cat named Trigger. And I'll probably try designing it to, or changing the colors to make it look like trigger yeah he's a tabby he had tabby cat he's a cool cat yeah <laughs> dick sometimes but that's okay. yeah aren't they all uh and then i got this little guy that's a full kit Ooh. how sweet is that full kit. then all right where my millennials at zodiac mugs <laughs> <laughs> She's going to stitch every single member of the family a Zodiac mug that we can take with us camping. Yep. And if you want one, let me know. And it might take me five years to make one for you. But I'd love to know your sign. I'm a Cancer. <laughs> She's a Taurus. That's why we kind of get along. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> uh, I scored awesome heart and hand. Heart. Heart sampler. I love heart and hand needle art obviously we're doing the wee words so oh, okay and i pulled this one the trilogy season's greetings i love these little i mean this this isn't a, i guess it's a small i would call it a small but it's not super small i don't know um but i love i love these little christmas ones i think they stitch pretty quickly um and then I got Father Yule by Shepherd's Bush. I really enjoy Shepherd's Bush as well. I'm doing stockings for my daughters. I just did like, one of them was born in 2016. So I pulled that stocking and the other one is 2018. So she's- Ugh, 2016, what a year. Yeah. In 2018, my youngest, she just turned three yesterday. <laughs> They're growing up. It's we had the coolest, table mates like we were like the lost 
We puppy. were lost puppies at Standing Stitchcom. Standing off to the side in the For room. at least 24 hours, we were lost puppies. <laughs> and then we had the coolest ladies, Rebecca and Valerie and Amanda. And but Amanda. Rebecca and Valerie extended an invite to sit with them. Um, and they were just some of the coolest ladies. They reminded me of a couple of our aunts. Yep. So we've deemed them now as the aunties. Yes. And they were just... Could not have asked for a better group of ladies mm-hmm. to sit with at our first Stitch Con. Like, yeah. they just, they welcomed us with open arms. We laughed. And we just had mm-hmm. the most fun with them. And it's totally, like, I mean, we were having a blast at Stitch Con no matter what. But then once we finally got invited to a table, it totally it like it, it, end game. It went from like here, yeah, we're having a good time to like whoa, we're yeah, because really, uh, Heather and Holly were the first people to kind of befriend us yeah, and at a late night, yeah, late stitch. night stitch. So that's Stitchy Pros and Link is my homeboy. Link is my homeboy, and they were just hilarious. Yeah, um, we sat with them at the late night stitch and just you know laughed and joked and had a great time and it was really awesome meeting them they already had a full table though yeah and And while they were kind enough to say we could come sit with them it would have been a tight squeeze and we did not want to intrude in that way and honestly i'm i'm glad it worked out the way it did because we met three really amazing women yep amen to that they did a big needle minder exchange. I am not going to show all of mine. I didn't pull all of mine because Jackie has a lot of... I've got a shit, you guys. She's got a lot of the... Like, I got a lot of the same ones that she got, you know, and then there were different ones, but I'm just not going to pull all of them off of my, my cool magnet board. I sh- um, yeah, I should have put these on, like, a sturdy piece of paper instead of trying to... Yeah, you know. Throw them all on one. All right, well, first of all, I got one of my sister's needle minders. A little pride heart. Love pride. Love pride. <laughs> uh, then we both got a... This we actually we bought in yep. the annex. Yep. Bought that one in the annex. Yep. And this one we bought as well. Because, you know, this for is, the time... I believe her name is Amanda Parrott. I believe that's her name. I think she's going to Weekend B, oh. which is happening right now. She posted photos. Yes. She did post photos. Um, and she made really cool t-shirts. All right. This is from Link is my homeboy. And with unwanted opinions unsolicited. or unsolicited opinions <laughs> from gosh, random people. Sorry, that's you can see it, but excellent. All right, got a piece of chocolate. This one is cool. I, yeah, I love that one. That's too cute, and it looks legit like chocolate. Doesn't I it taste like chocolate. Would like to eat it. Yep. Uh, oh, and then. Garon Totten bags. They were there. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. I personally do not own any of their bags, but I drool over them from afar. Yep. And then and they are this. very nice. Like they are just very nice. A, yeah. People. Oh, uh, Lin X stitches. Snoopy. Then Sebastian. B's and T's. Yeah. Little B needle minder. It's really cute. And then, oh, Stitchy Pros. This is, I think I showed it a little bit earlier, but mm-hmm. there's mine with the card. Then. Definitely check out Holly's pattern release. It's beautiful. Yes. Can't and say it enough. Then, um, from the Rebel Stitcher, I got my. Albus fan, fan club. club. There we go. And then um, along with the 20,000 other needle minders from Rebel Stitcher, <laughs> I bought. <laughs> so she went, we both, we both went a little nuts though over Rebel Stitcher's selection of needle minders. Yep. I bought Bigfoot and the Blue Nip Yeti and you saw my Kamala. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones I bought. Well, you bought a sticker pack. The Bigfoot sticker I bought sticker two pack. sticker packs, Bigfoot and RBG. I love, I want the sticker that's Bigfoot trying to eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that one. Yeah, I know there were other needle minders that I bought from Colleen. But, they um, were amazing. Here are my, <gasps> that I bought. Donut! <laughs> Witchy Moon! So, okay, our mom has beef with this because stars are not going to show up in a crescent because the moon's still there 
The moon is still fully. <laughs> <laughs> but Just I saying. love it. But it is an awesome design. And honestly, if Jackie hadn't bought it, I would have bought it. Yep. And I could still buy it. So. You still can, but or you'll just steal it from me. I don't know. That works like, too. What happened? Where did all these magnets got Tina Belcher? That's like mm, uh, Jackie's. I was Tina for Halloween. Animal. Here's a photo. If I find it, the photo of me is Tina Belcher. Wonder Woman. Jackie's other spirit animal. Other spirit animal combo of the two. Super Superwoman, Wonder Woman, Batgirl. What Batwoman? I don't know why she's not Batwoman. Probably because she was a teen. Mm -hmm. Then Wonder Woman. I that think this awesome. was. I Colleen think this had was, that shirt on, right? Or not he, that shirt, mm -hmm. but something similar. Mm -hmm. I think this was like a new comic release cover. I saw it recently on Facebook via the Wonder Woman. Uh, fan club fan club basically um and then this is another rebel stitcher but this one was gifted to me it's rbg's descent collar um this one was given to me by renee and her sister jennifer and they are gazelle's needlework Where's that they info? are they were the they are sweet ladies yeah the That's absolute and sweetest. they were there um with Renee's niece, Jennifer's daughter. Yep. So she's like next generation stitcher. Yep. She had really cute needle minders. Yes. We will insert a picture. Yes. I've got them in the other room. My girls they took love them. them. So yeah. yeah, we'll insert a picture of those. But yeah, so thanks Renee for the Rebel Stitcher RBG collar. And I think I think that's all. Those, those are, are all the needle, needle minders. minders. <laughs> those are all the needle minders I bought. All right. And they had a we went to keepsakes. Yes. Maybe you should, we can insert the video. That yes. You did it, keepsakes. Cut to video. So they had a, we, we went to keepsakes. We drove separately. We didn't take the awesome stitchy bus. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish we had maybe next year. I get bus sick. So, but I our mom was willing to drive us, so why not? Mm -hmm. um, keepsakes was amazing. I've never been in a store like that, so that was really neat to see. Mm -hmm. Spent way too much money. And then we went yeah. over and shopped in the annex that was conveniently next, next door to the the <laughs> stitching room at the convention center. Yep. Um, so we've got we bought fabrics there. The hill minders, patterns, everything. We yeah, bought I everything. mean, it was just amazing. So here's our fabric haul. Yes. So Jody from Steel City Stitchers, she had a fabric selection available. Beautiful colors. I had not mm -hmm. seen her fabrics in person, and they are amazing. I know she has a Fabric of the Month club, and it sounds really awesome because you don't know what you're going to get, and everybody oh. gets something different. Mm. But I know there's That's a wait cool. list as well, so get out on it if you want in on it. Um, do you want to show yours first? Oh, sure, or? sure. All right, uh, I'm just going to say, these are actually, for sure, 110% 14 count Ada, because I still have the tags, <laughs> the helpful tags. So, I got this beautiful that purple. Is. And that actually, I'd say it's a little darker. It's a dark, yeah. It's showing up really bright. If I move it. Yeah, it looks brighter. Okay. Either way, it's it's more yeah. I would say more of, of like a plum purple. This mm -hmm. is kind of a pinkish purple that is showing up, but amazing. Yep, the model on that is fantastic, superb. And then, oh, I'm excited for this one. This was the I got like a half yard, didn't I? I think so. Uh, the lady that was working the fabric table, I think Mary, she knew how to sell she, some fabric. <laughs> Cause I, uh, I bought, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I bought half, half, half yard of this bad boy. And actually that's a pretty good depiction yeah. of this green. I, maybe it's got a little more lime to it, mm -hmm. but I'd say that's pretty good. It's yeah. Another beautiful piece of fabric. Yes. Love it. Yeah. I figure <laughs> out, I'm going to put a Halloween pattern on this one. So I picked up a 28 count Lugana. Uh, and I'm going to, all of my wee birds, I'm stitching on 28 count so that I can 
have like a, a rotating frame for seasons and holidays. Ooh. So I picked up this and I'm going to do my Christmas wee bird on there. Possibly my St. Patrick's. Okay. So one frame. Sorry. Possibly my St. Patrick's as well. I did order some Bestitch Me fabric and it's just a little brighter than I think I would have liked. But I'd say that's a pretty pretty yeah. good depiction of this fabric. Yep. The green pops up nice like it. Yeah, it shows up really up. well. Pretty pretty true to pretty. color. Yep. And then I picked up and I'm gonna segue into patterns that we got with this fabric. This is, okay, I don't know why I did this. I hate stitching on linen. I've got no beef with people that stitch on linen. No beef. More, more props No to beef. You. I've stitched on linen. I have a lot of linen in my fabric selection and I, I use it because I bought it. So why wouldn't I use it? But man, I struggle with it. And uh, so I bought this 40 count linen in this amazing orange. Mm. And I would say that's a pretty accurate depiction of the color. Wow. It is beautiful. And I love it. And I bought it specifically for these patterns. If you wanna, can you maybe hold one or two of them or? Yeah, okay. Uh, these are JBW Designs, French Country Witch, Scaredy Cats that I'm going to do all in black, and French Country Ghost. Oh. And mm -hmm. I just, it was calling to me. And the funny thing about JBW Designs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so Lord. she is out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is where we currently are. Yep. My initials prior to being married were JBW. So, wow. You know, I'm famous. I guess. So, <laughs> JBW Designs, if you're watching this, <laughs> your long last, long lost initial twin <laughs> is right here. Yeah. And that segues into patterns? Yeah. Okay. So cool. These are patterns we stitched, stitched, picked Perfect. up mm -hmm. between keepsakes and the annex. Yep. I got uh, this one. Reminds me of Wonder Woman. Well, it is Wonder Woman, yeah. but it, <laughs> teeny weeny bikinis. But it's called Super Heroine, and I'm thinking of turning it into a one piece. You could always do the like cut sides one piece. Ooh, zesty. Yeah, could do that one. Yeah. Then uh, this pattern I found I related to the most every holiday season: the Mistletoe Loitering Society by Lindy Stitches. I. Yeah, that's an accurate representation. <laughs> then from Pumpkin Brew, got a little witch. Keepsakes had an amazing conversion. Yeah. With a poem. I can't remember the poem. Yeah, now. I can't either. I didn't even take a photo. Way to go, Jackie. I'm terrible. Uh, but that was the whole reason she wanted the pattern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I guess so keepsakes, hey, keepsakes. If you want to, you know, send us a picture. Is this pattern? Can we get that conversion? <laughs> That'd be great. Thank you. Um, and then from Cricklewood Crossing, I hope I said that right. Yes. Cricklewood. And we got to meet her as well. At yeah. Stitch Head. She was awesome. She had some really awesome little, were they like scissor fobs or? They were little, um, like zipper. Oh gosh. Which one did I? It was this one. It's Ohio. But to put on your, um, project bag zippers. And she makes beautiful project yeah. bags. Uh, hers have like embroidered images on them and they're just oh, really yeah. pretty. Yeah. Um, but okay, Cricklewood Crossing. Witchy witchy. There we screamy, go. Screamy, happy, happy. Halloween -y. I was sold by the Halloween. -y. <laughs> I was sold. But um I'm thinking of putting this that one. On the green or the purple? The green. But I mean the purple would work too. The purple, I don't know, with the black. I kind of like the idea of the green on there, yeah. especially kind of. with that orange. Yeah, I'm feeling the green for this one. So that's that. Then the drawn thread chili. I like that one. So bony, so chilling. <laughs> I think, yeah, those are the patterns I got. Right. Yeah. So on to my patterns. So I picked up, let's see, I'll start with my big ones. There's not as many. Uh, Olga. 
from Plum Street Samplers. I love Plum Street Samplers. I have a lot. I have their Bigfoot and their Yeti that came out recently. And yeah, I just think they're awesome designs. So there's old good kitty cat. I too have, well, I have three cats. Most of the time. Most. <laughs> then I got Luminous Fiber Arts, A Raven's Reply. That was uh, some enabling by Valerie at our at table 16. <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. Wait, what? She, she made you buy that one? Well, she bought it, and then I just needed it. So I'm not doing all of the Wee Bird crafts or the farmhouse. I think there's quilting, the farmhouse. I think there might be some other ones. I can't remember, but I stitch. So I'm going to do the stitching bird with my holidays and seasons. These two I'll show together. The littles, Santa and Black Kitty. Get bent, Creek. <laughs> I like Bent Creek. I think they've got some really neat designs. Mm -hmm. uh, another uh, heart and hand. Not all who wander are lost. I love the little snail on that mm. mushroom. And it's a mushroom. I'm also a big uh, Prairie Schooler fan. So I picked up all their little cards. Dang, I didn't realize you got that many. I have a problem. <laughs> I think I had grabbed that boo one and I put it back. Thank gosh. Thank goodness you got it. Yeah, because you'll probably stitch it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Not Forgotten Farms. The Giving Sisters. Are you going to put our names under them? Probably. Because <laughs> we're so giving to each other. <laughs> and what is this? The Reverend Gordon swash bottom i love him Me i don't know what it is about him not forgotten farms oh okay yeah i not forgotten farms they have some beautiful patterns i just love their patterns so i have thomas i think i have another one. Oh, that's cool but yeah then let's see some from lindy's stitches some autumn royalty yeah. <laughs> Prince of Pies, Count of Candy, and Lord of Gourds. <laughs> I'm ready for some fall stitching, I think. Yeah. I really do have an obsession with turkey cross stitch patterns. Um, I don't know why. The only thing I can think is that I've hosted Thanksgiving, I think every year since 2015. I think so. Or at least as Which, far back as I can remember, 2016 when Nebby was well, born. Well, 2015, you helped me clean, and the morning of Thanksgiving, I found out I was pregnant. That's my favorite holiday. Oh, and then, <laughs> then she didn't tell me until it was, it was before around Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, because it was part of your Christmas present. Yeah, it was a, a bottle, bottle of wine, wine. <laughs> <laughs> and a baby was announcement. Like, I was like, "What?" Um, so I got Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. Lindy Stitches. <laughs> That's a wonderful name. Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. And Strutting Tom. I dated a guy named Tom once. Was he strutting? Yeah. Or just strapping? Both. <laughs> so, yeah, those are my two turkeys that I added. Um, I'm trying to think of, I have Thomas from Not Forgotten Farm. Mm -hmm. I have Sir Thomas from Glendon Place. That one. Oh, I cannot wait to stitch that one. The fact you have these names memorized, I am very impressed. It's, I mean, Christine. it's Thomas. No, Sir like, Thomas. The, the pattern, the pa like who it's by. Oh. Very impressive. I just, I really like those designers too, so that helps. But I think that's it then for my patterns. Cool. Want to show our project bag? Let's do it. Here we go. Lynn from Lynn X Stitches Lynn creates Stitches. beautiful project bags. I was lucky enough to get in on her June quarterly bag of the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> and I could not be happier. Um, 
she does an awesome job and I'm so glad to have some of her bags now. So this is the one I picked up from her. She is a huge Snoopy fan. I too am a huge Snoopy fan. Mm -hmm. We like every holiday that there is a Snoopy special, that's what we're watching. Mm -hmm. uh, I will buy all of them. Snoopy. I have an apple. A little Schroeder and Snoopy and Woodstock sitting there. It's awesome. I I love it. And Thanks. she did a really nice coordinating mm. fabric. And, yeah. She does these cute little pulls. I mean, she, is, she thinks of every detail. And they're beautiful. And this is the one I got. Some comic book action. Because I love Wonder Woman. I really... Did not expect that any of her bags would be left by the time we got in to shop at the Annex. Yeah. That Friday morning, and I mean, we went to the, the bookstore, and then we went to Keepsakes, and then we got to the Annex, and it was, what, pushing noon? Yeah. So we walked in there, and I saw her bags, and I was like, they have the Snoopy bag! <laughs> so I bought it. Yep. Uh, another bag, Creative Country Girl. Uh, these bags were not out there our first round through the annex and then we walked in and I saw this. Was it Rebecca had one or Valerie had one? Oh, I'm not sure. I bought the same bag. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot get enough of this it's fabric. So um, this is Tammy Blaylock. Blalock? I'm assuming Blaylock.com. We will uh, we will post a little link to her page. Creative Country Girl. I mean we got, beautiful. she was sitting at a table right next to ours. Absolutely beautiful bag. It's little, um, mm -hmm. not the size that I would normally buy, but and I like it. I like that I could use it for something other than cross stitch too. Mm -hmm. Like an iPad holder or, mm. yeah, but it's super cute. Yeah. And since I don't keep all my projects on Q-snaps, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, not purchased at StitchCon, but here when I got home from StitchCon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I absolutely love Joyful Stitching. She is on Instagram. I will put her name on there. She has an Etsy shop. I love her project bags. Um, I think I found one on a stash unloading is where I first purchased one. And I just cannot get enough of her project bags. I would buy all of them if I had the funds. So this was one that I ordered. Patriotic Ooh. Snoopy in his little red truck with his fireworks. Did she and give it's you one for my birthday? Super cute. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have my embroidery floss in here right now. But I just, she does such a, a nice job pairing fabrics. She does her, you know, it's not a, a charm, but these cute little ribbon pulls. She always, like, throws a little skein of floss that matches the bag. She just, she writes sweet notes. Love notes? Yeah. I mean, she loves her, her customers, and I highly recommend her. She's awesome. She does an amazing job. Um, and then this is another one that I purchased from her. And I just think it's so cute. I love camping. I love little funny woodland creatures with hats. And I love vintage campers. So <laughs> I love funny woodland creatures with hats. <laughs> and there's the, the contrasting fabric. And see the little skein of floss she threw in. There's, I mean, she's just, she does beautiful work. I highly recommend her bags. Mm, mm, mm. And I think... I've got, well, I mean, does this one count? Yeah, you can show. Okay. So, I... Stitchy kindness. Stitchy kindness <laughs> from my sister. <laughs> because uh, before StitchCon, I did not have any project bags. I had reusable totes that I was throwing all my stuff into. And the night before StitchCon, or it was like the night before Friday... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, once we got to StitchCon. Once we got to StitchCon, who knows? Uh, Justine gifted me a bag from Dot Dot Goose Design to go along with our Salem trials. Yeah. And I love this. And they turn it around and, oh, there's witches. Bitches. Bitches. <laughs> there's some witches. Bitches. 
And I absolutely, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. There's a nice little pull tab. Easy, like gorgeous, high quality. And I, I'm just obsessed with, there's two witches for two sisters. Yes, uh, the way this fabric was cut. Yes, mm. I mean, it's perfect. Yes. So thanks. Justine. Couldn't have asked for a better bag. Thanks, Justine, for your stitchy kindness. Anytime. <laughs> Not really, but. No. 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 When, when I can afford to buy you <laughs> cross stitch stuff. When I can afford. Yes, <laughs> yep. We had a smalls exchange at StitchCon. Yep. Uh, we will insert pictures of our smalls. Mm. 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 <laughs> uh, right. But. I participated in one exchange. Jackie, uh, over at Cheever, I did all three. Yep. And I, I did not know that that's abnormal. <laughs> Sorry to marry you. No, there's no. Uh, yeah, my youngest is napping. So. I did not know. Like, I thought everyone did all three. I thought that was the norm. So I was stressing weeks before StitchCon <laughs> trying to finish. Meanwhile, I had my one done. And I'm just like, and I got one. So I'm going to show my small, because I only have the one. Yep. Um, mine came from, I was in the third group to participate. I pulled a small from Stitchy Linda. It's Stitchy her Instagram, Linda. Linda. And this is it. I'm obsessed with this. And it is fantastic. I mean, <sighs> it's over one. It's amazing. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so I'm so happy that I pulled this. She's starting to cry. <laughs> um, so I love it. I I hardly have any patriotic decor, so I've been on a kick of, like, I must stitch all patriotic decor <laughs> in the summer so that I won't have any of it ready by the 4th of July. Um, <laughs> but I just, this is beautiful. I have it on my Pyrex cabinet, and I could not ask for a more beautiful, perfect piece for my house. I love it. Thank you, Linda, for stitching this. Thank you, me, for choosing it. <laughs> um, so in the very first Smalls Exchange, I uh, picked up Aaron's from Steel City Stitchers. And it, I was intrigued by not only this beautiful box, but the glittery letters that say Tea Lover on it. And it's got this cute little charm that I can put into a project because I do love the tea. I love the coffee. But then you open it up, and what is that you find? A little, uh, very... Tea bag. A little tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> a big old tea bag. <laughs> uh, yes, this tea bag. Super cute. That was the uh, Target cross-stitch bags. Um, mm. And it was filled with an assortment of teas. And it was, oh gosh... These tea drops. I have never had them before. I'm really excited to try them. They're awesome. And yeah. I had a Tazo tea. I know. The one that Sass I wanted to try. Oh. Sorry. Maybe if you participated in all three exchanges. <laughs> then the second exchange, I saw this bag that says so flossy. Inside, um, and this was from Angie. Here's our Insta name. Oh, Insta. And inside, there's this cute little notepad that I have used. Yeah, she's been using it today. I've been using it. Oh, all my notes. <laughs> and then these stickers. Throw so those cute. in my planner. Oh, I like the little project bag. Right? Can I look at these? She's going to take them. I'm not going to take them. <laughs> and then, um, there was some of this. <laughs> you ho! This neon floss. I'm excited stuff to is awesome. find yeah. something to do with that. This pair of scissors. I've, I've, this is my second pair of scissors. The first pair were like a junk pair that I gave her when I kitted her project. <laughs> yep, but now I've got these cool ones. And then this I like beautiful pillow. pillow. Stitch over two. All the day through. <laughs> I couldn't read it backwards. <laughs> I love it. Hopefully so cute. this isn't all backwards. Nope. Or we can flip it. I need to learn how to make pillows so I can make pillows. Just All over. right, so for exchange number three, I got this lovely pillow from Luella, and all hearts come home for Christmas. I love that pillow. Me too. And I, uh, when I was chatting with Luella, I was like, man, 
it just reminds me of a Hallmark Christmas movie. She's like, you know, I'm pretty sure I was stitching this during a Hallmark Christmas movie. It's like, excellent. And then also, there was this little needle minder that came with it of some tea or coffee. But yeah, um, so wonderful exchange. Stitch was amazing. Um, the Stitch Con hangover is real. Oh, it's so I mean, is. I was scheduled to work the Monday after we got back, and I I think I was in a pretty foul mood <laughs> yeah. all week. Yeah. yeah. I think on Monday, I was, like, I was good. I'm part-time nanny. was feeling fine. And then, like... Mine didn't happen until Wednesday because I woke up. My patience was at zero. Yeah. And those ladies, I mean, they put in <sighs> a lot of work, a lot of time, little to no sleep. I felt like I hardly slept. I mean, mm -hmm. we were staying we, up till yeah, like I mean, 2 we'd get back. We'd get back to the hotel between midnight and 2 a.m. from the late night stitch room. And then you're back at it you know 8 a.m it's like well let's get a move on it and get over there yep. and by the end of it you don't want to miss any time because it is even though we got there thursday i just felt like it went way too quickly especially meeting all the people that we met yeah. i wanted to spend more time with them yeah. and that's why if we can get in next year our plans are changing we are extending our stay so that we can take full advantage of all the time that's available and maybe not feel so wiped out at the end of it I don't yeah know. i think probably we're feel not, wiped but, out regardless yeah. we filmed this june 18th but you know it took a month to post it so any future plans stitch wise mm. well i just so badly want to knock out salem trials in little chicago and yeah i need to i need to do i need to knock out that broadway one too even though when i start you know working on pro when I start working on whips, I automatically, within five minutes, want to be like, I want to start a new pattern. I want to try, because I want to do that Halloween-y one. Yeah, that, that is a real feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what, what about you, Justine? I'll probably continue with some summer stitching. That's, I'd like to start some turkeys pretty soon. Well, I'm working on, you know, gobble freeze. Mm -hmm. um, but I do, I really want to get started on that Glendon Place, Sir Thomas Turkey. He's just beautiful. Maybe I'll have him done by Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. So maybe I'll start with some smaller turkeys. <laughs> do some small turkeys, get enough turkeys for the centerpiece of the table for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bunch of turkey pillows on the Ooh, table. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, that's... That's, I think, my biggest thing. In October, I'm going to the Michigan Stitchers Retreat. But that's in Lansing, which is only like an hour, hour and a half from where we live. So I think I'll feel a little less overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I'm glad, though, that StitchCon was my first stitching retreat. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't have asked for a better. I have a feeling the Michigan Stitchers Retreat will be a little different. Um, we'll plan on maybe once a month trying to get a video out for the time being. And mm -hmm. once we can figure out like the split screen zooms yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, then we might be able to do something, something more. Our next video I'm assuming will probably be like a whip parade. Yeah. And that's just, you show all your whips. Yeah. Okay. Jackie's already shown all of hers. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, so, sorry. So get on making some more. I had my own solo um, whip parade today. Yeah. Cool. That's our that's our first floss tube. Thank you for watching. Yeah. X's and hoes. Uh, Nevalu X underscore X stitches. I don't even know. Here's Justine's Instagram name. Here's my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to follow us there, we should probably make an X's and hoes Instagram. Nah, page. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Well, should we, should we end things with a hug? A sister? <laughs> no. <laughs> we uh, rented a bounce house for my youngest daughter's birthday. So the girls, I'm sure, will be we will end this, bouncing away. We will end this floss tube with a clip of us jumping in the bounce house. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bye.